let's talk about homeschooling, shall we? Hey, howdy, hey, train wreck. How are you today? I am the glorious train wreck mom, and I homeschool, and it's the holidays. So why not do a homeschooling through the holidays collaboration put on my by my friend Vanny, which totally cool. Um, this is a collaboration, so please check out the other uh, videos in the playlist so that you can see how other people homeschool. Because if you don't homeschool, you probably don't know how it's done, and there's a lot of ways to do it. Um, that being said. Yeah, we homeschool. We homeschool my 14-year-old, who, who is um, actually wanting to go back to public school in August. So we're really, you know, crunch timing and all that fun stuff. And the way we've done it in the past with a homeschooling through the holidays is we homeschool. Yeah. I don't... I guess maybe I'm really bad at this? I don't know. Um... Yeah, we just, you know, we've done a lot of work with workbooks before, um, and we just kept going. A lot of documentaries, a lot of watching PBS, um, but there's also a lot of life that kind of happens too. You know, learning about budgeting, learning about um, cooking, and, you know, just in general stuff. It's really, uh, for us, it's really not that hard. The problem came about this year with homeschooling. We chose a program, Time for Learning. I loved Time for Learning when she was in, in like fourth and fifth grade. I loved it. I thought it was wonderful. It did really well. Eighth grade, it has failed us. Um, I don't know if it's because of our internet or just whatever. It's just not a really good fit for us at this time. We've been using it since August, and I know she's way smarter than what's happening here, um, but, you know, a lot of it's motivation, a lot of it's, um, it doesn't interest her. Um, and I think sometimes the lessons were presented in a less than palatable way for a lot of people, because I did talk to a lot of people about this program, and they said the math was really hard. Um, and it's not like it's hard, it's just presented in a, a way that made it very difficult to learn. And the social studies was as dull as dishwater. Like, it was just one of those, it's like, wait, what? The problem also uh, arised, or came up. I, I can do the words thing, I promise, guys, I promise. I homeschool, I have education and stuff, it's okay. Um, the problem came about, um, when we don't actually have internet out here. To get internet where I live would be about $400 a month. So what we've been doing is using our phones to hook up a hotspot for her to click into to be able to do her learnings. Awesome. The problem then arises when... <laughs> I keep trying to use that word, and I do not think that word means what you think it means. Nope. Um, the problem has been coming up where she'll lose connection, and if she's in the middle of a quiz, in the middle of a test, or a chapter, or whatever she's doing, she has to start over again. What the hell? And that is exceedingly frustrating for her, because like, I've already done this, it was boring the first time, why do I have to go through it again? And I totally understand her frustration. So we have gotten her out of time for learning and we have put her into Khan Academy, which is free, although I did donate 10 bucks because, you know, you know, th these things aren't free. So, uh, and I'll be providing the English and language arts side of things because, you know, kind of, kind of a writer, kind of what I do. So I'm going to be working on that with her, but yeah, she's going to start doing Khan Academy for math and social studies and science and I think it's going to be a really good fit for her because I noticed a lot of it is video based and she's a very video based kind of kid so I figured if you're going to be sitting around watching videos of people playing video games and making fools of themselves you might as well be learning something so right on um, as for like a schedule 
right now um, with our impending um, Disney trip, like we leave tomorrow, uh, the good thing about Khan is not on the plane, but while we're in, at the airport, she can do a lesson. Um, while we're at the hotel in our interim, you know, the, the T-Rex has to take a nap kind of thing, she can do a lesson. She can do a lesson on the bus if she really, really tried or wanted to, um, depending on how long. Usually from the, from the boardwalk to the Animal Kingdom would be a good time to do that. So, yeah, I mean, it's portability, it's accessibility, but it's also, I think it's presented in a manner that's best for her. And I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get her to a good place where she'll be able to transfer over to um, high school for um, August. So, yeah. Homeschooling through the holidays is just for us mainly, you know, like I said, it's budgeting, but it's a little bit more relaxed, but there's still learning that happens every day. There's, you know, we got to get the house clean, you know, let's do the chores. I mean, that's all, all the time type of stuff. But the baking, the baking goes into overdrive when uh, the holidays happen. So yeah, there's a lot of math that I make her do, a lot of uh, a lot of figuring things out. So yeah, I mean that's pretty much it. I mean homeschooling is not as hard as a lot of people want to make it out to be. I don't have a problem with it. Like I said, we've uh, time for learning was was doing well when it worked for us, but it didn't work for us this time. So we're looking at something new. I've heard really good things about Khan. What I've seen so far, I enjoy. So that's what we're doing is homeschooling for the holidays. If you're a homeschooler, I would love to hear what you, what you use, what you do, um, what methods and all that fun stuff. If you used to homeschool, but you don't anymore, I still want to hear about it. Throw me some comments down below. I would love to read them. And I do try to get back to them as quickly as humanly possible. Uh, what else? Oh, my books, Platitudes of Gratitude and All Your Fault, are still available in ebook and paperback on Amazon. Give me a like, subscribe, comment, share. When you hit subscribe, hit that little bell so you get to see this on a regular basis. Again, since this is a collaboration, I would love for you to go check out the other uh, videos in the playlist. I'll have that link down below as well. I think that's all I've got for today, so all aboard, Trainwrecks. 